All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Season 2, Episode 1 of The Summer I Turned Pretty. This one's called Love Lost. And yeah, last episode, the finale of Season 1 was very emotional um, for many reasons, but mainly I would say the whole Susanna storyline with her having cancer and her not only her kids finding out, but also Stephen and Belly. So, I mean, Conrad knew, so I guess more so out of her kids jeremiah finding out but yeah it was super emotional and i think that the silver lining is that this whole time she's like i'm just gonna kind of let it take me and and not do the the chemo and stuff again and the boys convinced her at the end they were like at least try mom there's a slim chance and she, she agreed so i think there's a decent chance it could be successful i, I was saying like last episode that I don't think they would just do that and have her die then because that would just be i feel like even sadder honestly so i really hope Susanna makes it through and i'm looking forward to seeing as well if this is next summer or the current summer i think the dead ball kind of felt like the end of the summer yeah. type thing so hopefully it's next summer and hopefully Susanna's here the season one finale ended though with conrad and belly kissing on the beach um obviously her and jer were a thing going into the dead ball but feels like that sort of washed away by the end of it but this episode's called love lost so maybe it's about her love being lost for jer i don't know maybe it's for conrad but i don't know how much like the titles have to do with the episode of the show but love lost is like that's a big thing maybe it's it has to be with one of the boys, or maybe she's just lost between who she needs to pick. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect exactly going into this season. I, I do have a feeling, like Bryce said, that it is probably going to be the next summer, and that'll just be so different because I think Conrad and... I, oh, no, I think just Conrad is going off to college, so he'll be back from school or whatever. Jer Jeremiah and... I think Steven will be going off to college after this summer, so dynamics will be different. I'm curious to know like if Belly kept up her romance with Conrad over the like school year or whatever, or if it was just like literally that one kiss and like a summer thing. But I feel like as soon as all these kids get back in the house, it's it's all gonna pick up like right where it left off. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though. Before we get into this episode, if you guys have been enjoying all of our reactions to the summer I turned pretty, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, our social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Season two, episode one of the summer I turned pretty, love lost. Let's go. Stay. Oh my God, what a way to open the season. Live in my dream. Stay. Oh, 2020, 2020, wet hair. You're back. I'm back. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's what is the necklace. What does this song say? Can I get a kiss? Oh, here's the boys. Fuck. Both of them. You two are perfect together. This is a dream. Here's Jack. He's cut for sure. <laughs> and can you make it last forever? Let's go. Why do I feel like she's about to kiss, to to kiss both of them? Oh no. Oh, she's reading the about, Hunger Games. Dreaming about kissing Conrad. Conrad and I weren't together. And Susanna was dead. She's dead. <laughs> what? Dude. No, they. Conklin. I mean, they did not do that, bro. French. Oh, what if this is the Wait, new man? Was she saying the dream she was dead or real life? Real life. The dream wouldn't be, she said. She was alive in the dream, looking at them. Ugh. This doesn't feel real. Just a dream. I not <laughs> Full season two is just Belly's dream. Dream. <laughs> a few days ago, Jeremiah told me she learns from me. Oh, did Conrad not know about this? Huh? Oh. Is this the end of. Wow, okay. This is last summer? I think so, yeah. I think this is a flashback. I kissed him a few times. Mm. Damn, Billy. How could you? So when we both came to pick you and Taylor up from the side of the road, 
you know, and you went with Jer, mm. where you two are already... Yeah. That's when they were kissing, right? That's the second time they kissed. Yeah, there moments this summer where I thought maybe there could be something with you and me, and then, you know, you shut down and, and get no, really cold. I'm, and I get I'm, it. I'm I get sorry. It. I'm sorry. What a mature king. <laughs> Facts. Do you want to be with him? Being with you is all I've ever wanted. Okay. It's great. Be with me then. Yeah, for real. <laughs> what? Is that funny? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's just weird. I mean, everyone in our house knows that I've had a crush on you ever since, like. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You have a crush on me? <laughs> Goofball, Conrad. I don't want to hurt you. Me neither. <laughs> Obviously, you don't fucking care. Set, you know, it's Jerry. He never takes anything too seriously. Ooh. It's not punchy in the face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did do that. They are coupled up. <laughs> what is Jerry gonna do? Smile it away. All right. Was that real? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I think she was remembering that. Dude, there's no way that Susanna's just dead like that. Rest Dude, she geez. said she was. We don't see why she would say that. What up, Tay? With the bangs. He <laughs> <laughs> got in. If I were going to Princeton, I'd be screaming about it too. Thank you, Evelyn. Wait, are you going to Princeton? That's so cool, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so it's Let's not summertime. I think it's about to be like yeah, the school you just yeah. ended. See, I hope he's still a Shay. Gotta go. Belly's depressed. Okay. What grade is Belly and Steven both in? I think Steven just probably finished yeah, high school yeah. and Belly's what, like 10th grade or something? 11th? Grades have taken serious dive. I mean, you kept an A in French, but you won't impress colleges with just French. Is there something going on? Uh, there's a death in the family. Damn, dude. Susanna died, bro. That's insane. I mean, I know I'm not getting into an Ivy, but there's always Penn State. Let's go. <laughs> nice. They're from PA, though. They're, like, they're from Philly. Yeah. Good morning, Bells. Bad news coming Back his way. Back to the past. Don't tell me this is what we're doing. I don't want the back and forth. Yeah. The trial my mom agreed to. And Belly, I'm, I'm feeling really hopeful. Why are we doing this? Dude. <laughs> oh, she's dead. Dude. I, just, I, know, I think we should tell Conrad about us as soon as possible. Whoa. No, <laughs> is oh, she going to end the summer without like telling them? Actually, that, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. And this pisses me off. Oh man. Um, so I went to watch the sunrise on the beach. Conrad was there and we just started talking. Mm, you know where this is going, Jer. Um, and we, we kissed. I feel for you, bud. I'm sorry. You kissed my brother. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I didn't think that, you know, like he. We, I mean, we wanted to tell you right away, so. You, you know, you're already a we? Oh, I, I just didn't, I, you know, I didn't want it to be weird. Oh yeah, Belly, it is weird, okay? Okay, but see the, the different reactions of saying they, she kissed their brother? It's true. He's younger though, so. Distraction to keep you busy while you waited for Conrad. I'm glad it finally happened for you, Belly. It's great timing. It's not like my mom has cancer or anything. Sure. That's not fair. I feel like this is a good reaction. I do. Oh, it's not. Can you please get out? I mean, if he was happy about that, I'd that'd be weird. No, but bringing up his mom's cancer into it is yeah, that was weird. It's not appropriate. You can be upset about the kiss, but <laughs> sweet Alanta, who sent this? It's from what? Susanna, bro. Oh my god. No. Oh, uh, uh, dude. Uh, that is so fucking how? sad, dude. How did she send this? For like preemptively. Yeah, Conrad and Jeremiah too. They were busy. Yeah, sure. Oh shit! Sounds like there is some beef going on between them. Like everybody. Yeah. 
He was so angry at us. And he has every right to be, honestly. It's gonna be okay, Billy. I promise. I just feel like Conrad doesn't feel real right now. <laughs> I don't want to make things harder for you guys than they already are. You're not. I promise. The most important thing right now is that you and Jeremiah... Yeah, dude, I hope they weren't, like, freaking beefing around the time their mom passed. That'd just yeah. be... Horrible, it's the last she sees of them, is them being mad at each other. I can't do that, Dave. I mean, Conrad's not, or yeah, Conrad's not giving too much about his brother's thoughts right now. We'll see what he does. You got you another Infinity thing. <laughs> this was always yours. Oh, he didn't even give it to her yet. Didn't he? No matter what happens. I, get, I think he tried to and she didn't we'll still take it. Mm, that's right. They're still gonna be infinite. Make a grown man cry. She doesn't wear it. You should read this. Later, we should go. They say that everything happens for a reason. Valedictorian? <laughs> Is he the valedictorian? <laughs> Steven? Mm -hmm. He must be a smart kid. He just seems like such a goofball. I mean, he's going to Princeton. I guess so, yeah. It's supposed to convince us. You know, that everything had to happen exactly so in order to teach us something about ourselves. In order for us to grow. I think that's BS. I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry. Oh, you know, look who's in town. John. I mean, it's his son's graduation, <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably wouldn't miss it. No, Cleve. You made every summer here so magical, Susanna. I mean, what happens? What happens, Belly? You love this place the same way I do. One of these scenes is going to be our last scene with her, bro. It's so sad. I don't like that. Ugh. I hope we don't get, honestly don't want to see the, the funeral. I don't want to see everyone so sad there. There, there are times where it feels like Steven's the getting world off. is happening to you. But remember that you are also happening to the world. Let's go. Make what you want happen, because tomorrow isn't promised, so you better make fucking sure that you are living today. He kind of fired me up there at the end. Good on you, Steve. I think that's the best acting he's had in the whole show. That was really good. Really? Was that a troll? No, I'm serious. Oh. I, I think he's, like, not one of the better actors, generally, but that was really, really good. Steven Hayter. He heard what you said. He took it personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. His voice just trips me up sometimes. It doesn't sound real. Do you want to come over after and help me with mine? No fucking way. Are you coming? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm going to sign up for a varsity volleyball camp. Too. Go belly. Oh Put some food in your belly. <laughs> That's a nice little jingle you've got there. Thanks. I got to read all the love in my DMs for my speech anyway, so. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, this is dope. I'm going viral on TikTok. <laughs> what, the <laughs> My publisher is hounding me to do this meet and greet event with booksellers. I said no. Why? Because it's not necessary. Tensions high. All right, have fun, kids. See you at home. Yep. <laughs> so I just vision I'm starting to make out on the table. Hmm. I don't think they're going to do it. Hmm. Bet my life savings on it. Glad the whole not going to therapy thing is working out for you. Ooh. The shot. Thank you. Yeah, that might be a thing, though. She's not talking to anyone about yeah, Susanna. Definitely. I think Susanna would want you to share it with the world. Did she write a book about Susanna, maybe? Hmm. She was always my biggest cheerleader. I'll wear the skirt, but I draw the line of pom poms. John's trying to. Good try, Claw man. his way back in. <laughs> Good try there. I'm so excited that you're finally here this summer. Can we do like everything that we never got to do together? Oh, they're not going to the summer house. <laughs> oh, is it his shirt? The call came the second week of September. Oh no. The call. No. Like a dream. No name, just the picture. <laughs> yeah, nothing weird about friends talking. Uh, Have you seen my uh, big kettlebell, the 20 pound one? Steven, I'm on the phone. <laughs> we'll tell Taylor to go to bed. Hi, Steven. Damn. What hey, happened? Conrad. 
You heard Ooh. that? It's not a good reaction. Maybe they just ghosted Steven. Actually, you're gonna have to let him go. Yeah, I just wish I knew how. It's like my Mimo always used to say. The best way to get over a man is to get under a new one. Mm. We don't need another love interest in the show. No. Bring Cam Cameron back. Yeah. If anything. Oh, and I ordered you a pizza, okay? So please eat it. Don't worry about me. Go. Right, I love you. Bye. It's probably damn bad. Laurel. Has to be, bro. Bye. Thank God you're here. <laughs> hey, Whoa. Man. Okay, so I need to be able to see you when I'm up on stage. Yeah. Nice to stay up close. Oh, is he a rock star? Yeah, Stephen called one of the MGK wannabe. Gotta go make the rounds, entertain the people, you know, host shit. Okay. Come on, Spike. Where's his party at for him to be hosting a party? I have no idea. It's someone's house. You are going to need to buy one more set. Guess who finally decides to join us? The killer B is gonna have her captaincy back from dawn. They do not look excited for her to be no. back. She choked at regionals, apparently. Ugh, man, that's tough. That's Don't a tough like that watch. One. Don't like that one. They keep showing this boy. I know, dude. It's game point, Miss Conklin. <laughs> bye bye, Conrad. But uh, we're talking, and it turns out he's a 5G conspiracist. What is a 5G conspiracist? Oh, I cannot get into this right now. You know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. I kind of do, too. It's like with the towers and shit, right? Did you know my dad cheated? Isn't it? <laughs> dude, it's so many different and things. About, like it what? fucking messing with you or something. I had an affair. I don't know. With his secretary, Kaylee. Found out about it last spring. I mean, like the same day I found out about my mom's cancer. Coming. Oh my god, dude! The same day. I couldn't turn my brain off. It was like if you do that, then this horrible thing is gonna happen. But if you do this, then you know just this catastrophic thing will happen. He has these problems, and she's like, Trig is so fucking yeah. hard. Can we get back to Trig, actually? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I hate that. Um, Off-season workouts suck. Yep. yep, there we go. <laughs> What's this guy? What's his name? Wow, you're, uh, Jeremy. You it. No. Tyler? Now what? Now where do you go from that? Oh, great song, but who is this guy singing it? Kind of has a good voice. And every moment spent with you. He's about to rock out, huh? Treasure. I don't want to close my eyes. Oh, I know this song. Yeah, he's good. I, I can see why Tay likes him. I still miss you, baby. I don't want to miss He looked he could be the next MGK. Mm. I wrote this song for me. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Love that song from the movie Literally. What is you and Corey talking about? Corey? Uh, shot! <laughs> they spoke to me in French. Bitch, what? In French? Bitch, what? So hot. Like, he sounds obsessed with you. What? Milo wrote this song for me. <laughs> I mean, like, what are you and Milo? You guys just make sense. This dude's breaking her heart. Milo? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That solidifies it. <laughs> solidifies it. <laughs> I've just, I don't think I've ever seen a house party, like a high school house party, there's properly. A half pipe in the backyard? <laughs> I was gonna say, properly <laughs> represented in a TV show we've watched. It's always just like some extra shit. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my god. I hate how his TikTok's like that. <laughs> It's just ripped in the front. He write this song too, <laughs> Taylor? What? Steven, what's the, what's the game plan I'm gonna here? crowd surf? What if he like freaking dies from this? Alright. <laughs> Death? Yeah. Dude, what was that? He just jumped on her. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Steven? I'm gonna crowd surf. Just jumps on top of his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, you're the valedictorian. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He's the smartest kid in his class. I mean, I always thought divorce meant fighting, you know, and there was none of that. I mean, they were cold for a little while, but um, now everything's kind of back to normal. 
I miss having phone talks with my lovers. Jeez, plural there. Plural lovers. Wow. Share some, bro. <laughs> How's JR? Is he, is he doing okay? Um, yeah, yeah, he seems good. Why? I don't know. I've, I've texted him a few times since summer ended, and uh, he never writes back. Never texts back. No one says never writes back. <laughs> no. I'm talking about a text message. Jar's done with her. It's ghost in belly. Venus is an evening star for 263 days out of the year. And then it disappears from the sky for 50 days before returning as a morning star. I'm actually looking at it right now. I want to see. Cameraman, look up. I wish we were looking at it together. Oh? I don't know. I see it. I, there's a lot of different ones I saw. They must have very good air pollution in their place. Or air quality. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be with someone who didn't make me feel electric either. And you make me feel that. So what happened now where she's like, I'm over Conrad? Because that seems like kind of recent, right? I mean, he is just waiting for you over there. I'm <laughs> I'm officially switching to Team Belly Corey. <laughs> I like Corey. Hey. Hey. Hey, Conklin. <laughs> hey, long time no see. I don't like how he calls her by her last name. Yeah. Uh, Seems very jockey. A horse rider? <laughs> I wonder if Venus is a morning star or an evening star. What? I think Venus is a planet. <laughs> no, actually, uh... <laughs> All right, cool. My kind of guy, bro. <laughs> That's what I would have said, too, for sure. Uh, <laughs> come here. You can kind of have something. <laughs> no. Uh... You got something in your. I have something in your. Yeah. You know why? Because I just got. Belly just went in. But no, no, no. I'm totally fine. I'm just, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna. You gotta transfer. You have to transfer schools what after happened? that one. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Could you put in a good word for me with uh? Taylor. Friend Marcy. Marcy. Oh my god. <laughs> Marcy. Yeah. Yes. And you. Dude, yeah, the way she's yeah. like responding to it too is making it so much worse. Yeah, yeah. What's she right. having her hair? Like grass or something. You're just getting it out. That was fucked. That was bad. Like really. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All over her. I knew that was gonna happen. What worst attempt at making a shotgun hole? Okay, well I'm ready to go now. Okay, well I'm not. Great. Then can you just call an Uber or something? Why? Why are you doing such a buzzkill right now? Aww, I'm so Maybe he jumped on her, then squirted her with the beer. Yeah. Okay, well, in case you forgot, which it clearly seems like you did, Susanna just died, so I'm a little bit sad, but please don't let that stop you from having the time of your life. Fuck you. Oh. No, I love you. Hey, you, don't, you don't think I'm sad about that? Oh, well, were you crowd surfing the pain away? My apologies. No, you should apologize. You screwed up, and now, now everything is weird with Conrad and Jeremiah. I mean, they won't even text me back anymore. Oh, man. I feel bad for you, Steven. I should be celebrating with them tonight, but they wouldn't come because you made things messy. You had Jeremiah, and it just wasn't enough. You had to have Conrad, too. You are so fucking self Steven. Damn. Who's winning? I was in love, Steven. Like, out of my mind in love. What was I supposed to do? Really? Steven. I taste just... Here, go, really, really? <laughs> Stay then. <laughs> I ruined things with both of them, and then Susanna died, and I completely ruined the funeral. And what? Oh, no. We're going to see it, huh? Yeah. Show me it. Dude, I, can, I just can see the brothers fighting at their mom's funeral. Be so fucked up. Ooh. You probably did. She, what's going on? Just, I think she's just sad. I'm driving home. Yeah. I hope nothing gets wrecked. Are you like feeling, the car? Yeah. Are you feeling like a wreck vibe? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not one of those angles. Damn, dude. I've been like this before. With one of your lovers? <laughs> yeah. I used to drive home every day crying. Uh, open it up. Hey, happy almost Halloween. Conrad. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm here. When was this? Almost Halloween. Almost Halloween. And currently it's like May. 
yeah, probably. Yeah, right after school, high school ends. You were worried about Jared, but look, I had a chance to talk to him, and uh, he's doing really good, actually. So, um, he's over. Yeah. Mm, is he, though? Mm. Did you ask him, are you over Belly, or are you assuming, Conrad? Because it seems like you are assuming. They're, infi him, they're infinite. And I gotta say, standing in front of you right now, it's torture. I'm gonna be able to kiss you. So All this right. is recent. It's like seven months ago. Yeah, not too recent. <laughs> <laughs> really did sort of fuck over Steven with that. With what? I kind of lost his friends because she dated both of the brothers. And just all the attention on her and not and Steven. Belly, we need to talk. I'm kind of tired. Sit down. Ooh. This whole year has been hard for me, too. You were barely here. And I don't blame you for being there for Susanna and the boys. They needed you. But you can't blame me either for things that happened because you were away. You want to talk about taking responsibility? You used to talk about Susanna. You can't just suddenly be concerned about volleyball when you haven't gone to a single one of my games. Oh. I want you to step up and be a parent. You gave up way before I did. Damn, dude. A lot of arguments in this one. Shambles in the household. Those, those, those summer vibes are gone. Susanna really... Her death tore the family she apart. She was the glue. Taking my car and, and leaving me stranded at my own party. Who, who does that? How was it your party? <laughs> I actually have a record label interested in signing. What? Yeah, check it out. Cancel culture record. <laughs> sounds, sounds terrific. They only have one post. Yes, that's what's so punk about it. Yeah, dude. Congrats, man. <laughs> dude. That makes Taylor with a break up with them. Get those two she, off the screen. I think she just got the ick. Oh, she hasn't read the letter yet. Neither way. Even dead. Congratulations on your graduation. This is the start of what is sure to be an exceptional journey. I wish I could be there to watch you. Oh. Remember, the world is not only happening to you. Oh, I was in his speech, bro. That's so fucked. That's so cute. The ride. Love, Susanna. That was like the best part of his speech. Yeah, that's good. Gave a little bit of Susanna in the speech. Hey, I know it's late, but about the bookseller event. Nice. I changed my mind. Let's go. Oh. I knew I'd lose Susanna eventually. I just didn't know I'd end up losing all of them. In my memory. Not <laughs> one ounce of Jared this episode. You miss him? Yeah. <laughs> Jared? It's Jared. Jared plays video games. Hey, Jeremiah, I'm so glad. Are, are you with Conrad? What? No, why would I be with Conrad? I, I don't know, I just thought maybe you guys would... Um... What is... Not look like he's over. Conrad's gone. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, gone? He's not answering my text or picking up my call. No. I think I'm going to go to Brown in the morning and see if I can track him down. I'll never get Susanna back. But and you I can get them. Jeremiah and Conrad go too. Yes, Belly. We're on the same page. But I'm coming with you. Oh. Oh, good oh, song. There boom, we go. boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was episode one of season two. And I mean, everything's fucked right now. Nothing is good. Like, like Conrad said, everything's fucked. Yep. Yeah, besides Steven going to college, he's trying to move on. Um, that was cool that he put Susanna in his speech. Uh, I think he was pretty... I liked Steven a lot this episode, even though he jumped on Belly for some reason. <laughs> that was weird. But he made a lot of good points um, to Belly, like how like she's sad, but I mean, he lost everyone too. I mean, she sort of ruined it, her his friendships with Conrad and um, Jer. 
So I do feel bad for Steven. Not, not a lot of people obviously pay attention to him, but he's probably having it rough too. And he's trying to make the most out of it by getting to Princeton, being the valedictorian. So I hope everything goes well for him. Yeah, I honestly thought it was super unfair of Belly to to just like bring up Sus- Susanna's death like that to him at the party because like everybody goes through grief in different ways and I just felt like that was a bit uncalled for but as we can tell from this episode it feels like everybody's relationships are just out of whack right now um and I really I think that getting Belly, Jeremiah and Conrad on the same page is just the priority because if they're all happy and liking each other then I think everybody else will probably work itself out but I'm like kind of hoping that I'm not too hopeful that it will happen but I'm hoping that the format going forward the season changes because I just really hope it's not just constant flashbacks of what happened oh, I feel like it's gonna be like that though. I think it is too and I, just I'm be, not because they, they mentioned a lot of events that yeah. happened yeah and I don't know I don't currently really enjoy that format too much but uh i don't know i I feel like that is how it's going to go since they are not apparently going to the summer house so it's going to be more so them like i mean obviously now she's meeting up with jer so that's her link to him in the present they're looking for conrad but like what happens after that yeah i wonder why she randomly just called jer well because i uh yeah i don't know maybe she's just been trying to get a hold of them for a a while and jerry finally picked up this yeah. time maybe she felt bad about what steven said about losing his friends and stuff and that's true and i'm pretty sure it's like we something happened between her and conrad that like oh yeah she doesn't talk to him or something yeah. that's weird i hope that they steven comes along to help help find conrad yeah i feel like steven they they always like kind of just forget about steven's friendship with them and i feel like he he would definitely want to be a part of the the search for conrad for sure. <laughs> but speaking of conrad being missing just where did he go dude like where could he have gone do you think maybe he went to the summer house oh yeah. what if he went there you know I think he probably went back into his shell for a little bit i mean he was out he, but what's the location of that though i just think he's in hiding like he's hiding in the shell it doesn't matter where he is he just needs to be alone he can't be doing well no that's what i'm saying like he needs to poke that head back out of the shell. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our reactions to the summer, I turn pretty, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, all of our social media is in the address to our PO box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for season two, episode two of the summer. I turn pretty. Peace out.